so guys, today I'm just going to go through the answers to the two exam questions that you had, or that I set last night in terms of electrolysis. As you're going through them, make sure that you're able to reference um, each demonstration that it's come from, that you're able to know what's happening on anode cathodes, uh, describe half equations and any color changes that are happening. So these two questions I had found off mock papers, because like I said to most of you guys yesterday, um, it's quite, our electrochemistry only sneaks up at the bottom, kind of towards the end question 10 question 11 in the option question or sometimes it can sneak up in um question four so i'm just going to go through these they both were question 10s and um, part b so you only have to do a two of the three sections so in part b you have to answer the following question about electrolysis of a solution of potassium iodide so don't forget potassium iodide is your ki to which phenophthalene had been added. So there's our indicator using inert electrodes. So the first question is asking, question two, what did you observe at each electrode? So what is an inert electrode? So this is the marking scheme. Uh, for marks, an inert electrode is one that does not react. Okay, doesn't react for four marks. Um, at electrode one, you would see that there was a gas produced at the cathode and the colour around the cathode went a pink colour. At the anode, you would see a brown solution forming. The pink colour showing us that the solution was going basic, the brown solution showing us that iodine was being produced. And the last question was asking you to describe equations. Uh, so the two equations are there. The symbols got you three marks each and balancing them got three marks each also. Now for anyone who's listening to me this morning, I went through the idea that you could have halves. So if we looked at the iodine here, you could have I minus is equal to half I2 plus one electron or for water you could have h2o plus an electron to give you half h2 plus oh minus okay so just be aware of those going forward your second question was also from a mock paper so you had to define oxidation in terms of change in oxidation number uh, you had to write balanced equations and you had to state and explain the color change observed in both electrodes so in terms of oxidation number oxidation is an increase in oxidation number your balanced equations your cathode reaction is two sorry the arrow now just went to the a wall there you have two h2o plus two electrons to give you h2 plus two oh minus and at your anode you have h2o to give you two h plus half o2 and two electrons and in terms of the universal indicator the universal indicator is blue in the presence of the oh minus ions so at the cathode and the universal indicator turns red in the presence of the h plus ions so that is at the anode